Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. Lux Research has released a report titled Grid Storage Under the Microscope Using Local Knowledge to Forecast Global Demand of the Cost Competitiveness of Eight Energy Storage Technologies Lithium Ion for Power, Lithium Ion for Energy, Sodium Nickel Chloride, Sodium Sulfur, Vanadium Redox Flow, Zinc Bromide Flow, FY Wheel, and Lead Carbon, and six grid scale applications throughout 44 countries, including all 50 U.S. states. The report predicts that there will be an annual increase in the global demand for grid scale energy storage, and by 2017, the demand will reach an astounding 185.4 gigawatt hours and will represent a $113.5 billion incremental revenue opportunity for an industry that currently generates sales of $50 to $60 billion each year. Analysts with the U.S. Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Lab have found that the solar leasing business is surging in Southern California. Homeowners with less affluent neighborhoods can now afford solar energy by leasing rather than buying the solar panels for their roofs. This could mean that rooftop solar power could attract an additional 13 million Americans, which could push solar energy further into the mainstream. The Mercedes-Benz S250 CDI has been awarded the 2012 World Green Car of the Year at the New York International Auto Show. This prestigious and highly competitive award had 23 contenders make, made up of clean diesel, gasoline hybrids, and all-electric vehicles. Mercedes-Benz has been running in clean diesel technology, which is considered as the very best in advanced fuel-efficient technology vehicles for the future, and a key part of any all of the above energy strategy for fuel savings and lower greenhouse gas emissions. The S250 CDI's fuel consumption is only 5.71 per 100 km or 41.3 miles per gallon, making it the most fuel efficient luxury sedan in the world. And finally, Hispanic Business Magazine, a leading business publication for the Hispanic market, has recognized Pacific Gas and Electric as the leader among the 25 best companies nationwide for supplier diversity. PG&E's efforts to achieve a diverse supplier base have clearly paid off. According to the magazine, PG&E went well beyond traditional supplier diversity initiatives and implemented successful strategies to increase business with the minority and Hispanic-owned suppliers. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.